Hello everyone, welcome to the video. This is my first video on GTA. I'm going to do a 2023 solo money guide. This is for solo players. <clears throat> As you can see, for this I am in an invite only lobby. I will be doing everything in this invite only lobby. If you have friends, some of this you can do with your friends and possibly do things a bit quicker even and make a bit more money now for this video you're going to need a bunker an acid lab a coke lockup meth cash and grass room yeah <clears throat> you're also going to need a kasatka and you're going to need the Sparrow Helicopter for speed <clears throat> so let's get on to the video as always remember please like, subscribe, comment, share, turn notifications on so you never miss a video I upload and if there's anything you want to see me do please do leave a comment Okay everyone, so I'm here in my arcade now. This is because I have the master control terminal. It's always good to resupply everything through the master control terminal. As you can do everything in one place. If you don't have this, then it might take a little bit longer. As you need to go around to all the different businesses. So once you're logged in, you just want to click on all your businesses and resupply them. For this video, everything's empty so we can get an accurate amount of how much. We're making. Now on the week, if you're watching this on the week I'm filming it, the Acid Lab is actually double money. But you do want to, uh, if possible, you do want to sell in the public session because then you get the bonus per player in the lobby. And now but you're going to resupply your acid lab. So, all right, it'll cost us, but I have plenty of friends with extra chemicals laying around. Now, once you've supplied all your businesses, you want to go ahead and call Franklin. And you're going to request a payphone here. You then go to the location of the payphone, 
answer the payphone, I like to skip it immediately. And then you get then get told to assassinate the target and you get told your assassination bonus. So you gotta take for this one I gotta take out the target using a drive by weapon whilst in a Vargos Vargos lowrider. You're then going to get told for certain missions like this. An area where there's a vehicle that can help you with the bonus, and then it will be out of a question mark. So you want to go to where that question mark is. get the vehicle unless you have it yourself sometimes it will say you need to pick up the person in a taxi and submerge them in water that one if you have a taxi don't have to go all the way to the taxi company you can just call in your taxi So I just killed the target with the assassination bonus. Now I have to leave the area, as you say, it's hit complete. And we get 85,000 for that. And then it actually, this vehicle is actually part of the exotic, my exotic exports list. So I'm now going to take this to the drop off. At the docks. You know, as you're driving around, you will come across vehicles that say they're on your exotic exports list. There'll be a blue dot on the map. And then you can just deliver it. And now I'm going to start up a headhunter through the CEO interaction menu. You want to start this in the city because then you just get four the uh, targets are close together. If you do it up in Blaine County or Sandy Shores or Polito Bay, all the targets will be so far away from each other. 
So I'm just going to complete this and then... Okay, so that's done. So I got... <coughs> Okay, so that's done now. So I got 21,000 from that. I did have to finish it off in my Karuma because I crashed the helicopter. But then you're going to request your Kasatka. Now you come to your uh, Kasatka, what you're now going to do is you're going to set up the Kaya Preco Heist. It is going to cost you $100,000 to, $100, to set it up, but we have already made more than that. Uh, so far we've made 85000 from the Franklin assassination mission. We then made 25,000 from the exotic exports car and then 21,000 from Headhunter. Why do they make the leather so small? <laughs> we are still at a loss because of resupplying all the businesses, but each of, the, each of them businesses are going to make more than that money back. And now we're just going to start the Gather Intel mission. So you can see it's a long way away. So what we're going to do is we're going to fast track the sub to the location. Okay, once you fast travel to the lo got to the fast travel to the location of the mission or got there, you then just want to continue with the heist. But keep an eye on the time because after an hour we are gonna go back and do something else for a minute. Okay, so it's been about an hour now. I've started setting up the Cairo Perico heist. <laughs> now what you want to do is you want to do another headhunter and also another 
um, Franklin assassination mission. We're gonna do the Franklin mission first. So that's the next one done. 85,000 we got from that. And now, now you're going to do another headhunter. Okay, so that's the headhunter done now. Another 21,000 from that. And now what you're going to do, you're going to head over to your bunker. You have the excess weapon parts over there. We're now going to deliver that to an ammunition for 50,000. <coughs> okay, that's the excess weapon parts. Delivered <clears throat> fifty thousand for that. Hey, guys, how you doing? What? Oh, that's <laughs> and then <clears throat> you're going to continue with Jesus. with your setting up your heist. Okay, so now we've completed the Cairo Preco heist, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do another headhunter. So we've got 21k from that. Okay, so you then want to do another Franklin assassination bonus. <clears throat> you get another 85,000 for that. And now we're going to finish it off. Just going to do the last bits. So. We're going to head to our bunker to start with. I'm going to catch you when I get see you a lot again when I get there. Okay, once you get back to your bunker, you're then going to want to come to this van here. And you're going to want to sell off your excess weapon parts again, which is going to get you another 50,000. Okay, so once you've done that, once you've sold the excess weapon parts, what you then want to do is you want to go through to all your businesses that you just that have been resupplying. You want to go to your acid lab, your bunker, and all your MC businesses, and you want to sell them off. You can sell them off in an invite-only session if you're doing it solo, 
or if you want to take a risk you could do it in a, in a public session I would recommend try and get some friends for the sales and sell in a public lobby with 20 or more other players as you will then get a bonus for each player in the lobby and I'm gonna now make all the sales and then I'm gonna come back at the end and show you what I made in this money method so I'll see you in a bit okay everyone so um, this is just a recap I will be putting everything on the screen as well so you can pause and see everything for yourself I did complete everything I then had to go and do some stuff and I come back and I'm now doing the recap for you so we supplied all our businesses we done a Kyo Preco heist we done three Franklin mission uh, assassination missions sold the excess weapon parts twice we done one exotic car we done three headhunters we sold the bunker meth coke weed cash and acid now the acid lab is double money this week um, on the week that I'm filming it so the acid lab will normally be a bit less just remember that but if you sell in a public session, I sold all these in this invite only session. If you sell this all in a public session, then you will be making considerably a lot more money. <clears throat> so we spent on supplies a total of $435,000. For the Kyoprico heist cost and the fast travel cost, we spent a total of one hundred four thousand dollars that's all the spending that we done that is five hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars that's all we spent now from the Franklin assassination missions we got I got a total of two hundred and fifty five thousand dollars <clears throat> a hundred thousand dollars from the excess weapon parts twenty five thousand dollars from the exotic car sixty three thousand dollars from the headhunters the Kyoprico heist I got the ruby necklace and for secondary loot I got weed for that I got a total I got the elite challenge with that as well so for that I got a total of one thousand well, one million eighty-three thousand six hundred seventy-two I sold the bunker for one hundred and eighty nine thousand the meth for a hundred eleven thousand five hundred sixty three the coke for two hundred ten thousand the weed for a hundred fifty nine thousand seven hundred fifty the cash a hundred fifty six thousand one hundred eighty eight and I sold the acid lab for 439,900 so from that from all the sales we got a total of 2,793,073 once you deduct all the costs we then have a total of 2,254,073 dollars so it took me about two and a half hours around two and a half hours that made two well in the end after all the costs we made two million two hundred two two million two hundred and fifty four thousand seventy three dollars so that means that each hour we're making around nine hundred one thousand six hundred and twenty nine dollars now I think that's pretty high among some of the best money making methods <clears throat> so I would just like to say well again if you did like the video please remember to like subscribe comment share it does help the channel and please leave a comment if there's anything 
you want to see me do, let me know if this guide has helped you in any way. And with all that said, I will see you in the next video. Peace, respect, 